Hey folks, Brad here with the Maritime Paintball Podcast, back with another product review. It's not a swag bag, it's not a loot box, it's an actual single item we're going to talk about. So big thank you to Tier 1 Armament for sending me the Gen 2 MCS box mag. Uh, I was super pumped when I got that message. A little skeptical, a little worried. Let me explain. So the Gen 1 MCS box mag was met with a lot of hate, namely because the way it was designed was that the balls could fall in around the rip clip and people were like, well, that's no use. Why would I put the balls in and the balls are just going to get stuck there? And if the box mag gets hit, the balls break. Like, what do I do? Uh, and the response was, well, if you want the plate, just ask for it and we'll give you the plate. And a lot of people said, well, why wouldn't you just include the plate anyways? And I had to agree. So when I was told I was getting this Gen 2 box, I was skeptical, but I was excited. So when I got it and I opened it up, I was pleasantly pleased to see that the plate just comes with it. When you order it, the plate just shows up. Cool. We've, we've solved that problem. Okay. Then I started hearing rumors about, and, and I, rumors, mumbles, people complaining about it, basically being like, uh, it doesn't keep up with full auto. I can't shoot fast enough, et cetera, et cetera. And I looked into it and well, well, we'll get into the details about this box and it'll explain everything. So first let's talk build quality. It feels really, really sturdy in the hands. The walls all the way around, there is no give to this box, right? It doesn't warp. It doesn't bend. I can squeeze it and I can get a little bit. I can get like quarter of an inch of movement and that's about it. So this thing is built tough as hell. It's wrapped in what I believe is Cordura or a Cordura, Cordura material. I think Cordura is actually the company and I'm sure they have a technical name for the material it's made of. But I know Cordura was, is like the company who makes this material. And this stuff is tough as nails. It's actually what most of your mags, or not mags, your vests and your mag holders are made out of. It's usually this Cordura material. material. Everything is really well stitched, double stitched along the bottom. It's got these Velcro bits on the side that I'm not entirely sure what they're for. Um, they just sort of are there. I don't know, maybe you can hang stuff off of it. I'm not entirely sure what purpose these, <laughs> these uh, actually do, uh, other than adding a nice aesthetic to it, which if that's the sole purpose, then that's fine. Um, and then it's got this band wrapped all the way around and then stitched on the front. The lid is actually all fabric. I was really surprised to find that, that the lid of this is entirely fabric. So it just lifts off. And then the stitching on the hinge area, I guess that's the hinge, is like double and triple stitched and folded over itself and everything. It's pretty wild. I'm digging it. The, uh, the Velcro like mechanism, I guess the word, I don't know what words to call it, the design. I'm a little bit, I don't know, I, I think I think I would have rather a different design than, than that fabric because I feel like it's very difficult for me to rip off and like it's just awkward. It's awkward when I pull on it um, to, to try and open it and then it, it jumps, like it lets go and then I'm all over the friggin' place. Also, Velcro wears out. So I'm not... I'm not super pumped about this because uh, that fabric, I feel like that Velcro is just going to wear out over time or it's going to get dirty. Velcro gets dirty and you can't use it anymore. So that, that I was a little bit, I mean, it's not a deal breaker by any means. Um, but I was like, okay, that's, that's number one that I really don't like about this product so far out of um, a dozen things I like about it. You know, I love the build quality, the weight of it, the look of it. The feel of it is just great. So, also the plate. Let me see if I can open this up again. There we go. The plate is there. You can see it. See, there's the plate. And you can see the rip clip in there. So, I mean, great design all the way around. Nice, heavy, rigid plastic box. And just this, this MCS logo on the side just looks super sharp. It's so well defined. You know exactly what you're looking at. It just looks really cool. I'm actually thinking I might paint it we'll go in with a sharpie and like outline all that in silver i think that might pop really really well um so let's talk about function this thing functions on a sound based system it's the rip clip so for those that don't know the rip clip is a uh, basically it's just an electronic hopper 
that could be added on to markers. It was cool. It came on some markers at like um, on default, but it was addable. You addable, you could add on to the markers. One button function, there's your button. You hold it to turn it on, you tap it to get into the settings, which I really liked. Um, once you're into the settings, you got three options, technically six. <laughs> it's a really weird way to put it. So you've got levels one, two, and three for both uh, speed and sound sensitivity. So if you have a really quiet marker, say like the MG100, you're gonna need this bad boy at like three for sensitivity and three for speed because that MG100 is just gonna rip paint real fast and you're gonna need this to keep up. Also because your marker is so quiet, you need this thing to be ultra sensitive to, to make sure it loads that paint in. Uh, my T15, is loud and does not shoot fast so i have mine set to one and one you got to tweak it for your marker i know a lot of people with the gen one out of the box they were like oh it's just garbage it's just it's ripping up paint what settings do you have well what do you mean settings cool you didn't read the manual uh read the manual figure out what setting works for you so now speaking of different markers the tower here really cool interchangeable pop the pin and Put whatever piece on you need and you can run basically any marker so you can buy this as a kit so this is the t15 uh capable one for me because it's what i run is the t15 but uh you can buy just this right without the tower and buy a different tower if you want or if you've got multiple markers um because i've got a max tack i've got tgr as well as my t15 so if maybe i want to run my max tack with the box mag and my t15 as my first strike marker it's not a bad idea, actually. I might, I might do that. Um, I just need to buy a different tower. I can go on MCS's website, or I can go through tier1armamentstore.com, grab the tower I need, buy it, pin it on, problem solved. So really great uh, universal system that way. I really dig it. I really do. I really do. So honestly, the only thing I, I didn't like as soon as I grabbed it and I started using it was this Velcro. So let's pop over real quick outside. I'm going to shoot it a bunch. You can see how well it shoots. And then we'll come back into the studio and, and give some final thoughts on it. Yeah? Okay. So let's go outside. Okay. So welcome to my backyard. Uh, I'm going to show you just how well this MCS box mag shoots. We're going to shoot it on the T15 today. And uh, I've already put probably 300 rounds through this thing. And it's shot phenomenally. Um, yeah. I, I, I'm loving it so far. I think it's a great piece of kit. So let me show you just how good it does shoot. Um, shooting Vulcan graffiti, it's a little old, so I won't be surprised if I get a barrel break. I've had already a couple barrel breaks. Um, we'll see though, but that's not important. What's important is whether or not that ball keeps feeding into that barrel. That's all I'm worried about. So let's take a look. So big shout out to the fiance for letting me borrow my, or borrow her mask, because my mask is currently out with the boss. I think it Crossfire PEI, uh, Crossfire Paintball in PEI. So yeah, okay, mask's on. Let's do this. So I love this thing. Turn it on, push a button. Problem solved. You'll hear it wind up. She's good to go. Come on. There we go. So there you have it. So that first misfire was simply because the ball wasn't loaded up into the mag well yet which is fine. Um, the thing is sound activated, so pull the, sh pull the trigger, hear the shot. Hold on, let me take this mask off. So you pull the trigger, it, uh, it actuates the motor, moves the ball up. And that's not a big deal. That's kind of my fault for not, uh, for not priming it. So you've got the little wheel on the bottom there to prime it. But as you can see, it just it shoots phenomenally well. Uh, I have it set on its slowest setting. I'm not fast on the trigger figure. Uh, trigger, not fast on the trigger finger, so. I don't need it to be. Um, full disclosure, this will not keep up with the full auto trigger on the T15, but I have no intention of running a full auto trigger. Um, I mean, it may be cool to have one, but I really don't see myself needing one. Who knows? We'll see what happens in the future. Maybe I'll, I'll grab one just for shits and giggles. But yeah, it shoots phenomenally well. How much air do I have left? Okay, I've got about 500 PSI left. Let's see if we can shoot a couple more. See if we can get uh, another couple more shots. There we go. All right, we're officially out of air. So that's it. That's the MCS box bag on the T15. 
shoots so well, so phenomenally well. Highly, highly recommend it. Okay, let's go back to the studio and finish chatting about it there. Okay, so we're back in the studio and you can see that this thing shot amazingly. This thing shot so well. Uh, I keep mine at one and one for sensitivity and speed because of the T15. I shoot a little slower. I'm not worried about like ramping that trigger because you can't to T15. Though you can put the full auto trigger in the T15. This won't keep up. Just so you know, this the T15 shoots faster than 15 balls per second. That is the maximum that this box mag can handle. So if you're looking at running full auto, you're not running this box mag. That's just the way it is, unless somebody can figure a way around it. Um, now, the box mag does hold about 140 to 150 rounds, but that requires the fabric top doming up a little bit. I felt more comfortable about 120 to 130 rounds. One, that's because I, then I don't have to worry about that paint doming up on here, uh, but also because my tank really only holds about 120 to 130 shots, so I don't need 150 rounds. I just need 120 to 130, and I run out of air by the time I run out of paint. Worked out perfect for me. Now, this thing looks so good. Like, let's just talk aesthetics on the marker. It looks amazing. It feels amazing, for me anyways. If you were left-handed though, like my wife is, it's a little less than comfortable. It's kind of in your way, right? Your arm is stuck out, you can't really you can't get tight onto it because it's in the way. So if you are left-handed, there needs to be a solution for that. Um, so I'm not not really... I mean, if there was a way to make it universal, that'd be great. But this thing, it's right-handed only as of far as I know. I could be wrong. I hope I am. But I think if you're left-handed, you're kind of out of luck. So out of all those positives, so far we only had two negatives. We're going to add one more negative just to balance it out. This thing here is in the magwell tight. So if I want to get this out, now to be fair, to be fair, you're not gonna take this out of your magwell in and out, in and out, in and out. It's not like a regular mag. But when it is in there, let's see if I can, you gotta uh, wiggle it and then it comes out. It goes in really well, it's in, problem solved, right? But like getting it out, it's like, Jesus, see, it's, I guess I missed a ball. Uh, <laughs> this, there's no air in the tank, don't worry, we're safe. Um, so yeah, it's really tight in the marker, I'm gonna put the marker down. It's super tight in the markers mag well, which I think will go away as you like wear it down. I might actually just take a little bit of sandpaper to it. Maybe, I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna be taking this thing in and out of the marker a whole hell of a lot. So I'm not too, too worried about it. I'm sorry, my nose is super itchy. Problem with having a beard. So I'm uh, not planning on taking this in and out of my marker a whole hell of a lot. So I don't, I'm not too worried about the stickiness. It just, it goes in the mag well, it stays there. So overall, I really like this thing. This is so cool. I'm really pumped to have one. I'm really pumped to own it. Um, I do wish that the Velcro front was a little different. I really, I think there could be a better system for that. Like hell, just like a, um, a clip or something would work for that, would work a little bit better than Velcro. Um, but what can you do? The fact that I can't use it left-handed means that any of my left-handed buddies aren't gonna be wanting one of these. Bummer. And the fact that it's so sticky in the bag well that like, if I need to get it out, I'm fighting with it. And I don't like that, but it's it's such a small thing because I'm not going to take it in or out. So all in all, three negatives, but I love the way it looks. I love the way it shoots, and I love the way it's built. Those three things override those three little issues that I have with it. I highly recommend it. I think these things are great. I think everybody who wants to run a box mag on a marker... Look, I get it. It's like... Some of these companies are pumping out some cool 3D printed stuff, but like this is injection molded, rigid plastic. It ain't gonna fail you. And it's using a rip clip. It's a tried and true technology. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. So we're using injection molded plastic, rigid as hell. The Cordura material, which is really tear resistant. And you've got the rip clip, which is known to work. It's a recipe for success. Highly recommend it. If you're in Canada, head on over to tier1armamentstore.com. 
Pick yourself up one of these bad boys. If you're in the U.S., head on over to MCS's website. I think it's mcsus.com and grab yourself one. You're going to have a ton of fun. 120 rounds, no reloading. I love it. I think it's great. I highly recommend it. So again, big thank you to Tier 1 Armament for sending me this for the review. Um, other than this little latch piece here and the fact that it's not left-handed, I love it. I think it's great. I cannot wait to play with this thing. It's going to be a blast. All right, that's it. I'm out of here. If you want to catch more of me, keep an eye on the channel because I'll be posting videos every two weeks, maybe every three worst case scenario, as well as you can find me basically every Tuesday night, 7.30 p.m. Eastern, live on facebook.com slash maritime paintball podcast, where I'm chatting with guests, I'm chatting with you guys. Sometimes I'm speaking into the void to no one. Who knows how the day is going to go. But I'm out of here. Thank you so much. Leave a comment below. I want to know what you guys think of this thing. Do you have one? Do you love it? Do you hate it? What do you think? I want to know. All right, I'm out of here. Cheers.